Good morning, folks. Welcome to the rooster's nest. I am the rooster. Today is an interesting day. It is my 32nd birthday. I am 32. Cast the rooster is 32 years old. It's my birthday. I'm feeling a lot of a uh, lot of different things. A lot of different things today. Um, being trained in energy healing. I know that um, every time you feel an emotion, anytime you feel pain, discomfort, a trigger, it's an opportunity to feel what's already there, something that's living inside of you. Um, maybe has been there for a really, really long time. Uh, and if you don't feel that stuff, it turns into physical ailments. It's honestly, that's what cancer is, is repressed emotion. It's not feeling your feelings. And that's scary because feeling feelings is scary. Feeling feelings hurts. But if you don't do it, it's going to get worse. Um, yeah. So I think that what's going on for me right now is just a humongous buildup of lifetime hurt. Even though I've been in pain my whole life, it's like all of that stuff that was just too scary to feel. Um, I feel like I'm really trying to face now because I'm trying to grow up. And uh, it's scary and it hurts. And that's just what I'm feeling today. But it is, but I am also like in pretty good spirits. Um, I feel really, really grateful. I've had some people reach out to me telling me I'm doing a good job. <laughs> you know how important that is. Um, yeah. And I'm having some people over in the backyard today for a nice little gathering. And it's going to be such an interesting hodgepodge of people because I like just pick up people along my way. And um, none of them are really friends with each other. I just, yeah, it's going to be such an interesting mingle. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was just one other thing I wanted to say about feelings. It's so funny. It's so, so funny that us as humans try so hard to to not feel our pain you know we take painkillers we drink alcohol we take medication we binge watch tv we eat junk food when it's like <laughs> why do we do that when it's part of being alive like feeling pain is being alive like, what is it about, what, why are we, what are we even avoiding? What is that feeling? What is it? Just feel it. You know, it's, it's being alive. You breathe, you breathe with it. It's there. It's not death. It's life. <laughs> what are we? <laughs> what are we? <sighs> uh, July 13th. Now you see it, now you don't. God leads me to still waters that restore my spirit. Psalm 23. It doesn't take very long for each of us to accumulate an emotional history. A child burns her hand on a stove and a fear of fire begins. In a tender moment, a hand is slapped and a fear of love begins. Our emotional associations and reflexes run deep. Often the heart breathes beneath our, beneath all our associations, like a soft sandy bottom waiting underwater. Thus, to see ourselves clearly, we must try to still our associations till we are as transparent as a calm lake. When still enough and clear enough, others can also see through to our bottom. It makes love possible again. But... Paradoxically, when someone is moved to reach for us, their fingers stir things up, sending ripples everywhere, and we and they can often lose sight of what matters. 
All this affirms the need to stay with our feelings long enough for the emotional associations, the ripples to settle. No one can escape this. No matter how young or old you may be, no matter how innocent or experienced you are, if you've been awake and alive and in any kind of relationship that has in any way been real, your waters, were, your waters will stir, your emotions will ripple. It seems the only way we can truly know our own depth is to wait for our associations and reflexes to subside till we are as clear as a lake again. Only when that gets stirred up settles, only what only when what gets stirred up settles can we see ourselves and each other clearly. I swear to God, I didn't read this before I spoke about emotions. It seems to do that. Like, you know, it, it always speaks to what's going on. Meditation. Breathe slowly and allow your agitations of heart to come and go with each breath. Breathe steadily and try to outweigh your reflexes to be angry or anxious or envious or resentful. Breathe evenly, and with each exhalation, try to feel the depth of heart that waits below. Yeah, you're alive down there. Way deep down there. You, you are alive. You can breathe. We're okay. Um, I also want to say thank you to my siblings who finally subscribed to me. <laughs> All it took was me posting a thing on Facebook being like, hey, guys, I have like a hundred Facebook friends. Can some of you please subscribe so that I don't feel like I'm all alone? That being said, thank you all to anybody who's watching me and who appreciates me. This is just my way of doing me, you know, so I really do appreciate that. And uh, yeah, it's my birthday. So I'm just going to sing a couple birthday songs to myself because I, I don't really feel like performing. Um, yeah, one of them actually is one that you've probably never heard. It's one I learned at a, uh, little daycare forest preschool. It's, it's adorable. It's a call and response. So if you all were here, I would make you respond to me, but it's like this it goes happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We're so glad you're alive. We're so glad you're alive. You're a gift to this earth. You're a gift to this earth. Bless this day of your birth. Bless this day of your birth. Cast the rooster. I'm alive. Oh, God. <sighs> my only wish for my birthday is for Ms. Cracker to call me. Please. I'm sorry I'm such a flaily rooster. In love. All I want. Remember, you can never fail if you never give up. Number two, everyone is someone. Number three, if you ever feel down, all you have to do is look in the mirror if you want to and say, <laughs> and I'll be with you. See you guys. Thank you. Have a great day.